Welcome to Whova. The community board is our most loved feature, so you'll want to be sure to use it to get the most out of your event. Using Whova's community board, you can easily get involved and connect with your fellow attendees to participate in the overall discussion and network with others. To get to the community board, open the Whova app. On your event home screen, tap community along the bottom of the screen. You'll see a list of topics and community board features, including icebreaker questions, meetups, discussion topics, and more. If you're introverted, networking can be intimidating when you don't know anyone at the event, but we have a way to overcome that. Tap on the Break the Ice section to participate in fun icebreakers. You can read and like other people's responses to icebreaker questions and introduce yourself for a fun and lighthearted way to start a connection. When you want to answer one yourself, just tap Add My Icebreaker. Now that you're comfortable talking to others, you may want to engage with others and contribute to the discussion at your event. The community board's discussion topics are perfect for this. In the past, attendees have created discussion topics such as healthcare changes over 50 years to talk about relevant topics to the event. It can also be used for more lighthearted networking, like asking about bucket list vacation spots or New Year's goals. If you see a topic you like, tap on it to see what others are saying. You can send messages under the topic you opened and even upload images and videos. If you're interested in following along with the topic, tap follow to keep track of it in the following tab. You might want to start a discussion yourself. Tap add topic or social group at the bottom and create your own topic. You can then invite attendees so that they know you're creating the topic. If you read an article that fits your event's discussion perfectly, the community board has a section for article sharing. Here, you can view other articles that fellow attendees have shared, or share a relevant article for others to read. Continue to build your connections with meetups, which help you get together before, during, or after your event, whether it's in person or online. In the past, attendees have arranged meetups for fun get-togethers, like karaoke and bowling, or a virtual lunch. You can also connect with like-minded people, like the meetup Women in STEM Majors. Meetups are also good for professional opportunities, shown with meetups like Pacific Northwest Security Community. Tap on the Meetups and Virtual Meets section to view a list of meetups that have been planned. You can tap on a meetup to view its details and RSVP if you're interested. Anyone can create a meetup. If you want to arrange one, tap the Suggest a Meetup button indicate whether it's an in-person or virtual meetup, and fill out the details. Again, you can invite other attendees if you want to notify them about the meetup. The community board is full of other helpful resources. To view announcements of reminders, updates, or last minute changes from the organizer, you can tap Organizer Announcements. If you have a question about the event, you can leave it in the Ask Organizers Anything topic, where the organizers or experienced attendees can help you out. Attendees often travel to events. The local recommendations topic is a great place to find and suggest local attractions. If you need a ride to the event or can offer one, we have a ride sharing topic. If you're using Whova on the web portal instead of the mobile app, you can access all of these features there as well. On the sidebar, click community to participate with all the other attendees. You can also access the community board directly from live stream sessions on the web portal. On the right sidebar, next to chat, click community to participate in the community board without leaving the session. That's all for using the community board. If you still need help, you can contact us at support at Enjoy your event and thank you for using Whova.